Welcome to Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you verbal image of life, and we are everyday people like to welcome you all to the show, right? As I travel throughout this universe, right, I'm noticing one thing that's a constant, right, and it's consistent, and that's the desire that black people have to be want to want to be included and accepted in white folks world now what is white folks world white folks world is a world that they created out of their mind and when they created it out of their mind, they didn't carve out a path for justice or equality for black people. And when I say white people, I'm talking about the colonizer. Those who don't want to unite. Those who are in power, who would do anything to upset the voting process in America to make it hard for black and brown to vote because they don't want what they deem as minorities to have a say so in a direction in which this country is traveling to the colonizer wants to be the sole person who makes the decisions in a direction of America. Now, if you're a minority, so called minority, even though you are the majority, but you know, just because they will use this terminology in the media. If you are a minority, you can hold certain posts or have certain jobs, right? Only to the degree that you only operate in the confounds in which they deem you to. You can only do, you can only operate out of this space and stay in your lane. If you start crossing over into another lane, they'll check you, find a way to get rid of you, or they'll ridicule you, or you'll be lambasted to where your power and your title will be null and void. You'll just be your, your, your credibility will be lost. So make sure you stay in your lane. But now you as an original person, right, who came from a long line of kings, queens, pharaohs, chiefs, right, always have that desire to want to exercise the rights of which thoughts and ideas that come to your mind. But you have someone who will say, and I'm talking about the colonizer, you know, yeah, that's a good idea, but we're going in this direction. You know, so it leaves you wanting like, okay, well, you know, I want to make myself useful. I want to help, you know, let's, let's do this thing together because on the surface, it's we're United States of America and we all share and for the common good of mankind, right? But below that, because, you know, it looks good, but below that, it's, look, uh, you sit in the back and let me uh, drive the bus, right? And you're saying, well, look, I don't like the direction you driving the bus. I paid my money to get on the bus. Matter of fact, I even paid... A uh, part of the building of this bus, and you mean to tell me I don't have a say in the direction? It's either your way or the highway, and that causes conflict. Now, the problem is, once it causes conflict, you'll have these leaders who are like the go-betweens, right? They like the the middleman, right? But the difference is, is that the colonizer gives the middleman more money 
but the people give the middleman uh, more love and more fame because the middleman came up from amongst the people, right? And so the middleman has to make a decision. Okay, the colonizer makes a de- a decree. You know, uh, we're not going to allow a certain absentee voting. We're not going to allow you to give snacks or water while you're standing in line. Uh, we're going to be tougher on what type of uh, identification you would need in order to vote. And the people are saying, man, you know, with all these restrictions, you're going to make it even harder to vote. So they're saying, you know what, to hell with that. You know, let's unite, create our own system. Let's build our own platforms. Let's unite and let's build, right? But the middleman job is to come back and say, hey, whoa, 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 now you don't want to do that. Um, let me go back and talk to him and, you know, let's hold a march because we are part of this system and we're going to force them to treat us right. And it's like, okay, well, how long do you want to sing that song? Because we've been singing that song far too long. Why don't we go and build and create something for ourselves? Like, uh, they use our Asian brothers as an example. We'll create us a security force. Then we'll uh, create an alliance with uh, people abroad. And let's do us. And, but... The middleman job is to give you hope without substance and keep and keep you as a tool for the colonizer. He got to pull that trick out, All right? Because one thing the colonizer likes disappointing the people he colonized because he draws from that energy. That's that's food for him. He loves it. That's his job. His job is to play keep away. And he gets the thrill out of watching the people that was colonized uh, uh, make the damnness attempt to get to the ball. But his job is to keep the ball out of their hands and away from them. Show them the ball, even let them get real close to touching it. But then as soon as they get ready to grasp the ball, his job is to throw the ball somewhere else. And, and feed off that disappointment of damn, I was just close. And then the 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 act, the leader, the activist, the the, the middleman job is to say, ah, oh, you was you was close. Just keep trying, and I'm gonna go to him and tell him, hey, man, you might need to throw the ball a little lower. Give him a chance to catch it. You know, you got to play fair, even though the colonizers don't respect the middleman. Or the colonized people. All right? The 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 middleman is just to dance around and you know make things appear to be what it's not. And the people are getting tired of that. So why in twenty twenty one should we continue to March and fight and ah, oh, this was a blow to voting rights. This was it's gonna always be a blow to voting rights as long as they're in charge. It's like early eighteen hundreds. You had the Dixocrats, and they were totally against black people being free, and the Republicans was for freedom, and they just switch upside down and they let you know. What time we in? What 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 cycle we in? Now, uh, the Democrats is talking about uh, freeing black people and allowing them the right to vote, and Republicans are saying, "No, nah, let's suppress them." And then, if we don't wise up, fifty years from now, if you know if, it's, if they still here, the colonizers still here, fifty years from now, then the Republicans would be saying, you know what, we got to do right by black people, man. Let's vote. And we got to change things around. And then Democrats would be like, nah, it's going to cost too much money. Let's keep things the way it is. I mean, we they've been playing keep away for hundreds of years. And we've been following our following community leaders as, such as pastors and, you know, certain type of 
uh, activists hoping they're going to lead us to the promised land when they know they don't have the power to do it. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's a game. You know, only thing that they can do is make some money by protesting, right? But the real revolution, the real change starts in the streets. On that note, Verbal Radio, we're out.